The bridge blockade and freeway backups also making a local impact in St. Clair County. Yeah, 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham spoke with people who live in the community, workers, and a local business owner in Port Huron on how this week's traffic compares to what they're used to. Port Huron police tell me despite some backups on the freeways, there are no issues at all within the city. Actually, this is, this is uh, normal for us. We always have backups, but we don't have backups this bad. Ann Lage, owner of Ann's Diner in Port Huron, says the differences are the volume of trucks heading to the Blue Water Bridge these days, the length of the backups, and the reason. It'll back up until like the first exit usually, but not to like seven exits. I feel sorry for the people who are out of town and don't understand that there's other ways to get, get into Port Huron instead of just 94. It was a mess. People stuck on the inside. The truckers wasn't, if they was all staying on one lane, that wouldn't have been a problem, you know, but they was part stopped on all four, two lanes. Next door to Ann's Diner, Jet's Pizza, which depends on smooth traffic in order to make timely deliveries. But driver Dylan Dombrowski says that's been a challenge this week. I don't know if you're able to quantify how much longer your deliveries are, are taking. Oh, the deliveries, we would have deliveries probably two hours ago that they called and we get there and they're just confused on why it took so long. The ripple effect of protests in Canada over vaccine and quarantine mandates impacting border towns. Businesses I checked in with in Port Huron's downtown area report seeing minimal change in foot traffic and revenue one way or the other. However, Lage says she's concerned truckers unable to make their deliveries, particularly auto parts for the big three, will start to affect her bottom line. And a lot of them are laying off right now because they can't get the parts to keep the workers working. So then therefore it affects me in the long run because if they're not getting a paycheck, you know, they're not coming out to eat. Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.